This is episode 60 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, October 11th, 2021. In today's show, Chris, Charlie, and Steve try one American wild ale and three fruited sours. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. I am your host, Charlie. We have tech guy Steve. He is our uh, tech guy, Steve. <laughs> yes. And uh, we got a couple of sours today, Charlie. Yeah. Been a little heavy on the crispy boys and the stouts. We got to mix it up some. Yeah. I mean, then we get some fruited stuff too. It looks like so. So Charlie, uh, Charlie's going to start her off. Uh, wow, how does that work? With an Odell's, Charlie. What do you got to say about this beer? I don't know. I just saw it. I had it sitting in my. Uh, I had it sitting in my uh, fridge for about a year or two. <laughs> it's a 2018 or 2018, and uh, it's pre-COVID. Uh, yeah, raspberry and cherry sour ale aged in oak barrels. So, guess what? When there's cherries involved, mm-hmm. you're a fan. I tend to motivate myself mm-hmm. to drink those cherry beverages. It smells marvelous, to say the least. Yeah. My so, goodness. Um. What mm-hmm. they say? Can I see that one real quick, Steve? Sure. Let me just. Uh, Odell's is a cool little place in the... Colorado. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Never been. And there. it's like uh, kind of like a hipster spot, but I mean they do make good beer. Uh, I was really into them uh, a while back, but uh, mm-hmm. um, now uh, I, I'm not going to say they've been surpassed because I haven't tasted anything lately from them. So. Uh huh. Although I did have some, I had something on the, I had a hazy on the trail uh, when a I was out and about. So it's not bad. I mean, this this smells. So fantastic. what they what they say here is a raspberry and cherry sour ale aged in oak barrels. Uh, that's their uh, their right up on her. What do you think of that, Charlie? It's pretty dang good. Mm. I mean, it looks like wine. Seriously, a uh, yeah, it does look a little like wine. So they the like uh, Zinfandel. Oh wow. The write-up is uh, Freak is an evolution and an imaginative amalgamation uh, invented by our brewers. Multiple Creek Lambic-style ales are fermented with wild yeast and tart cherries, then moved into oak barrels to age and sour, taking on the, trou- uh, the, the cherry flavors. As the beer matures, uh, raspberries from Schroyer Farms uh, in Fort Collins are hand-picked and ready for the beer. The fresh raspberries are added immediately prior to the final blending. The sweet and tart flavor mingles with um, mingles on the tongue with a sparkling dry finish. I like an oaky finish. I like it. It's only a 16 ounce bottle, right? A uh, 12 ounce. 12 ounce. Wow. I think that's a small bottle. That's actually not bad. You're correct. 12 ounces. And we didn't even, we didn't even hammer too shabby. it down. You know, it, um, you definitely taste the cherries. I think a little bit of pretty raspberries. The cherries aren't too. Uh, um, I think it's probably mellowed out a little bit. You've been sitting. Uh, it's been sitting, sitting, sitting on a minute. shelf for a bit. But it's a uh, it's a lot better than I thought. Still still holding up well. You know, mm. it's not like uh, not too acidic. Mm-hmm. Hey, it it is what it says. It is a raspberry cherry sour, aged in oak barrels. That's exactly what I taste. They are who they say they are. Yeah, and we let them off the hook. <laughs> so we have we had anything from this brewery? No, we have not. That's I don't think first we've run. I think with- Odell, like I said, Odell's is a cool little brewery and. and I'd say little, but gosh. yeah, I think they're a little, little bit more than little. These yeah, days. I know they are. They've got a lot of different beers, uh, like uh, seventy or seventy shillings was one I liked, and then they did some uh, small batch uh, numbered uh, beers that were really, really good. And uh, but they were making some some pretty uh, pretty awesome IPAs back in the day when when that's what I was drinking West Coast IPAs. Yeah, yeah, they've been around since nineteen eighty nine. Yeah. They were started by uh, Doug O'Dell, his wife, and his sister. Uh, Thirty years later, the family and uh, they're they're still thriving. They've got a pretty good following out there in um, Colorado. It's like I said, it's a gorgeous brewery. They have live music, food, everything you can imagine. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it used to be one of my go tos. You know, when when mm-hmm. I could find it. You know, out here especially. But uh, you know, I went. My first trip back to Nebraska, I came back through Fort Collins. Yeah. Just hit every brewery that was there, I think, and mm-hmm. uh, jumped into Odell's and uh, had a few fresh bevies and uh, outstanding at the time. So I hope their success is continuing. That's that's good good news. I mean, they've done a good job for a long time, but uh, 
This is definitely. I'd I'd buy another one of these. There you go. If I saw it, I mean, it's it's that good. What uh, what was the best beers you guys had this week? Anything in particular, Steve? Yeah, um, let's try something new. Not sure where they're at. Tarantula Hill. Trench. No, it's not tarantula. Is it? <laughs> is it? I don't no, know. I think, I think it is. I'm Tarant- staying out of this. Uh, yeah, tarantula is T A R A N T U L A. Okay, Tarantula Hill IPA. Where are they located at? They are. Uh, Pick this up at Fraser Farms. Thousand Oaks, right up in oh, LA. Okay. Right on. Uh, it says they're right next to Tarantula Hill. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're uh, uh, they're in Thousand Oaks. Yeah, okay. so right up right up the road. Um, yeah, they get great reviews. The brewery does. I haven't uh, I haven't had any. Where'd you pick it up at? Fraser. I was just there last night. Um, I like it. It was pretty tasty. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Yeah. Did you do? buy seven four packs of loggers? You know what? No, it was um, <laughs> it was uh, it was their turn to do dinner last night. So you just had to pick out. it out. Just went over there and yeah, picked up. Uh, I was like, "Give me a little of that, a little of that." We ran through the deli over there. That's a good call. I like that little yeah. spot. They got some good stuff over there. Yeah, um, my my favorite beers, I think, were um, well, we we um, we ended up at at Moxa last week and had the opportunity to have a, a couple of beers with New, one of the owners. And, Supposedly, um, we're going to see New down at the uh, Mostra event. The coffee. Uh, yeah, so we actually we were able to um, taste. Um, I, I had, we we popped a bottle of Modern Times beer with him and matched that up with uh, with their vanilla stout that they collabed with Topland Goliath on. Oh, so we had those like head to head, which was kind of fun. So we had the uh, the Modern Times uh, vanilla ultra bottle that mm. we had that we had Good. had here on the show previously and then um their toppling goliath bottle which was uh cremo i think cremo cremo i think um yeah it was phenomenal they were both really really good you know i think the modern times the bottle that we had was a little bit older it was last year's model mm. uh, well he was saying that you could taste the age on it you could yeah it was a little little mellower than his was a little sharper uh-huh. it was a new you know new bottle but it was good they um uh, you know, it's fun to, to have a few beers with uh, with New. Yeah, that's really he's, good. He's a character. He's he's a lot of fun. I'll tell you that. He does not come to watch. Yeah, no, we had a lot of fun hanging. <laughs> <laughs> the hosting was uh, abundant again. So, but we had a good time up there. And uh, <laughs> what was that? Was that was the end of that Odell's. <laughs> <laughs> Looked like an earthquake going on in that chair there. We're on to uh, that can. What is it? Uh, so, so Charlie busted out this triple berry pie, the slang du jour from uh, from Drecker. We're gonna go through two of these. All right. Um, yeah. So they uh, let's see what uh, what we got to say on this bottle. Looks like it's a um, for this can. Wow. Fargo. Pretty tasty. Yeah. Drecker is Fargo, North Dakota. They sure enough are. Well, they got one of the coolest logos. Logos. Yeah, I like their. Yeah, the Viking, the Viking. of course. I got some great can art too, man. Let me tell you that. Yeah, they, they most certainly do. So, uh, so for this this uh, this one, they say they threw a ton of uh, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries into a giant pie pan, then hit it with granola, cinnamon, nutmeg, brown sugar, lactose, vanilla beans for that perfect pie crust flavor. It is. Uh, then we set it on the windowsill to cool off for a bit. So all kinds of uh, all kinds of berries in there. It pours like kind of a magenta, I think. Yeah, it's a burgundy. It definitely smell a lot of fruit in there. Yeah, it's it's fruitier. It's almost like a slushy almost. It's so fruity. This it's definitely got that super thick mouth feel. But yeah, if it was any colder, it'd definitely be a, a the slushy. The cinnamon and that nutmeg in there definitely gives mm. it that uh, that pie flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are taste. That's a. These guys know what they're doing with those. You know, a Burley Oak made similar style, and there's these two are very very, you know. What does Burley Oak call theirs? Oh, is it dreams? It's dreams with a J. Dreams. J R E, I think. J R E A M S. Dreams. And they're pretty tasty too. But this this is along that same line. Very high quality, fruited. It's uh, it's it's pretty impressive. I I like the fruity. I'm just some of the things it's almost like they overloaded it a little bit, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, if they'd have, if they'd have left out the uh, 
the cinnamon probably would have been a better drink for me. But oh, this one here, yeah, You're talking about. I'm not just not a fan of cinnamon because it overpowers too much sometimes, and this is one of them in my opinion. But uh, it's the way it rolls. You know, it's still good. I mean, I would drink this, but uh, there's just some things that when you put them in there, they just kind of overpower a whole fruited fruited beer to me. What if it's a pie beer though? I understand. You can't it. have a you can't have a, a pie without cinnamon, Charlie. Sure, you can. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's any cinnamon in pecan pie. Mm. I'm a fan. That's yeah, really good. Like I said, it's still good. But you know, I mean, I, I certainly do think like a lot of these cans, like I, I they're the type of can can of beer that I want to split with somebody. Yeah. Like I don't want to be sitting there and like, oh hey, I got three of these. So, like let me try to. Yeah. That's why we're splitting them between three. Perfect. Of us. There's a. Uh, what is it, a 16-ounce can? So we each get, like, uh, six pounds. What is it? I can't break that down. 5.3 ounces. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it would be. <laughs> Thank goodness Steve's here. The mathematician. The smart guy of the bunch. The, um, no, yeah, that's tasty. I'm a fan. We could, do, we could do these in succession only because this next one is much different. So... Hmm. And this one here is um, okay, raspberry, coconut, granola, sea salt, lactose, and vanilla bean. So this is probably going to be a little milder, hmm. but still hmm, fruity and tasty. Yeah, I this like how, is another. I like, sl- I like how the flavor sticks around. Yeah, it so does. This is still on your tongue. That's why we got some uh, podcast. Uh, uh, what do they call it? Um, what? What? That's our. What kind of? Topo Chico is our uh, official water. It's the official, official water. water of the podcast. Not right. paid for. Not a paid endorsement. Unpaid, Unpaid. Uh, endorsement there. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Look at the color on that. This thing's super carbonated, too. Look at that thing, man. So these uh, these Drecker cans, um, there was a recently a release. I think they had them at Valley Farms. Uh, they had them at Valley Farms as well as uh, I, think I got a couple. Of not those craft. ones. The different ones they released earlier. A nice beer release at the old Valley Farms this week. Those guys. I found a few little nuggets over there the other day. So, or actually this morning when I went by there. So same sort of can art, just different color. Yep. yep. Yeah, it must just be their uh, the, the can for that series. The Excuse me, Burp City. Man. Drinking these beers too fast. So yep. you guys said you picked these up locally here? Yeah, Charlie picked them up. I think he got these at Bottle Craft, but I saw they... So Drecker must now be releasing here in San Diego. Yeah. Because they, um, they posted, they got a shipment of them yesterday at... These the I didn't Valley get. Farms. Yesterday or the day before. The ones that I got were different than these. Well, these were the... Well, I got these locally when Charlie left them in my car. Okay. Oh, is that how that works? <laughs> yeah. Gosh, how does that happen? Yep. They uh, they ended up in they were in my cooler. They made made their way to my refrigerator. Mm-hmm. And made their way back right. over here. Nice. That was my. Uh, I was trying to return them to them, and they showed up on yeah. the show. Yeah, <laughs> that'll work because that's how we roll. Because that's a long beer run if you got to go to North Dakota. Yeah, for sure. That is a long, long way. Um, but yeah, no, they they've shown up. They're 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 here locally. Um, yeah, Dude, no, they're great. If they threw banana in that, it would be magic. Mm-hmm. It'd be pretty all right. Yeah. yeah, it's still like, good, right? I now. like this one better than that. Yeah, the other one was a little, uh, little uh, rich. This one is is a little a level down from there. And the foam sticking around it, isn't actually, it? It's isn't actually it carbonated? Tasty. It's tasty. The you know what this is tasty. missing though? Bananas. A little bit of cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> nutmeg. Nutmeg. <laughs> it's a little nutmeg. So this one pours like a like a a pink color, mm-hmm. kind of a. <sighs> Say mouthfeel. It's very soft, very mild. I do like that with the coconut, but I do think um, that vanilla lightens it up. Yeah. No, it's great. What's the alcohol? Yeah, I think they're in s- the sevens. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of them I don't see printed in mm-hmm. alcohol content. Yeah, Seven point three on that. Ooh, on that. Okay. Yeah, that's be a careful. real go getter. Yeah. No, I was you Charlie. Can't, you can't taste it at all. No. Yeah. They're around. super. Uh, um, so Charlie, what was the best beer you had this week? Um, gosh, I poured out. A uh, Alvarado Street, believe it or not. You poured it in your glass and then dumped it out? I poured it straight out of the can into the drain. Yeah, why is that? It was, um, you know what Ambrosia is? They have a they have a, a beer called Ambrosia Peach or something like I don't know what it was, mm-hmm. but it was, it's, 
I'm not a big fan of Ambrosia. So mm. I was, that was the best beer you had this week. No, I'm just telling you that I drank that thinking I just I'm just going to say, hey, I'm a guy who will pour out a beer if I really don't like it. Oh, there you go. Mm. I'm a drain pour guy. If it has to go, it's got to go. And I couldn't drink that. I just couldn't stomach it or taste yeah. it. <clears throat> it was beyond me, and mm. uh, it was just a little too much. But uh, I think I had uh, I think I had another Alvarado Street with a Pog mix. Uh, uh, pineapple, guava, uh, pineapple, orange, and guava, something else. And I think that, that ambrosia might have had the same thing in it, but uh, with the marshmallows and some other stuff. That's what ambrosia is. I guess that's yeah. a marshmallowy. Yeah, it's a thing I skip when it's at the, um, the potluck. Yeah. Yeah, you just want to keep walking by. Yeah. Just keep rolling <laughs> right just, by. I've never what was liked... the name of that beer, Charlie? The it first was... one. Was it How's It Punch? Uh, a howly punch, howly punch. Oh no, the house it. Yeah, I've had the that. House it. Yeah, that's yeah, how's is that it? the I one had they had. Yeah. That's the pog. Yeah, right? yeah that's the pog. That, I had that. That was the best one. Yeah, no, that gets. Uh, and I've uh, I've never been disappointed by a uh, by Alvarado Street, and mm. this was just one of those days where me, you know, maybe it was just me. I'm sure everybody else likes that beer, but <laughs> I mean, it was just a little too rich. And a little too much ambrosia in there for me. And I was like, oh, man, if I eat this, I know it's not going to be a good ending. So. Yeah. Or I drink this, I guess. Think that, um, I think that How's It Punch, it used to be called the uh, Howly Punch. Howly, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. yeah. That was the old name of it, right? But I think. Uh, they got in trouble. They changed yeah, it up. Because um, Howly's the white guys. Right. It's, yeah, non-native, you know, like yeah. a white person in Hawaii. So, like, you know, when my first time, like, when we you, had that Chris. at the, the uh, <laughs> Festival of Funk, my buddy Steve's like, they, like, he's like, they have a beer named, like, White Man Punch, you know, <laughs> like, you know, he's like, dude, he's like, I don't know how they're getting away with that, right? No. And then, you know, a few years mm. later, yeah. it's now the How's It, right? The How's It Punch. Mm. So, what's in the standard of Brogia? It's like a fruit salad mix. It's, know? it's marshmallowy. Mm-hmm. With fruit, you can put any fruit in it that mm-hmm. you want. Mostly, it's like, uh, isn't yeah, it mandarin I always, orange? I always thought it was like the had to be the Del Monte cock fruit. Oh cocktail. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> not. Yeah, that's <laughs> possible. Never liked it. Mm. Not a fan, huh? Not a not a not a fan of green Jello s- stuff. There's a few things I just don't eat. Fruit and meat don't usually go together. Sometimes if you're really good at it, you can make it work, but not very often. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's an American variety of fruit salad. Yeah. With jello? Most or? ambrosia recipes contain canned or fresh pineapple, canned mandarin oranges, slices, and miniature marshmallows and coconut. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Not, yeah, that sounds... Not, not my wheelhouse. Um so anyway, sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you would have loved it, Chris. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> You're like, what's the the gal's name on uh, the Simpsons? The mom, Marge. 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 Yeah. Marge. Oh, Chris, you'd love that. <laughs> yeah. The um, no, it's pretty tasty. This guy here was. This is really good. Oh, you boys are in for a treat. Raspberry coconut crumble. Yep. Woo! I'm going to have to rinse my glass up for this one. What's this called? This is, a, this is a Modern Times Sour that is called Vanilla Glimmer Void. So, so in this one, they, they added a hefty helping of strawberries to blend with their red wine barrel-aged dark sour mm. beer. Then condition the whole shebang on a on a bed of Madagascar vanilla. Wow! Resulting mm. beer is an outrageously tasty confluence of strawberry, Latin tart complexity, and luxurious vanilla. What's the color there, Charlie? It's almost like an amber or tan color. I'm not getting a lot of smell out of it. It smells vanilla, but I don't know. I can't wait to taste it. Pretty excited. Ooh, let me tell you, it is sour. Yeah, it that, is sour. Is that, that portion. <laughs> it got the. It clicked that. It is that sour. Box. Mark that box. Wow. Whew. Where's the vanilla? I'm not tasting the vanilla. Uh oh. That was what I was hoping for. Yeah, me too. But I'm willing to drink more of it <laughs> to okay. find out. All right. It's a little. Uh, 
It's not that bad. I'll drink more of it. It's sour. It's tart. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna Chris try. is just holding off. Yeah. He's scared. He's going topo. I am. I'm waiting first. on. Uh, Drinking the official uh, water of the uh, the podcraft. Mm. I know, but oh, that's not bad. I like it. Yeah, but I don't still don't get the vanilla. Yeah, where's the vanilla? Maybe it's not enough. Maybe it wore out. It's probably about a year old. Well, jeez, sour should last more than a year, right? It's a really good sour. It is sour. I can give you that right there. Boom. Yeah, it's uh. Definitely it's, coming through. It's sour forward. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so yeah, it kind of pours like a little, oh, like a peaches, mm-hmm. like kind of a little peach color. Apricot-y, maybe. maybe. Mm-hmm. Apricot. What does this say in it? It says what's in there. I like it. You fan, Steve? Strawberries yeah. and vanilla. I don't, I'm not tasting the strawberries either. Yeah. Wow. It's like a really weird. Maybe I taste. I think I taste more oak. Yeah, it and tastes I taste that the, the, the fruit red wine or, or the arrow, strawberry. Right? Right. Yeah, it tastes like a. And I think that back end, you know, it's the it's, uh, vanilla doesn't really come through, but you taste like something mixing kind of with those tannins. I think. Mm-hmm. Like a, is that the strawberries and maybe it's old. I don't know. Yeah, I'd say uh, I'm going to let you drink as much of that as you want. <laughs> <laughs> I um, it just missed the mark for this guy. Fortunately, it's only uh, what is it? Tastes it? a little like tobacco-y in there too. Gosh, I'm trying to look at the uh, amount of fluid in this thing it's a 12.7 ounce it's i think it might gone bad I'm honest with you there's no way that's tasting all oak like that yeah it's uh and that's been sitting in the fridge the fridge oh, there it is well the uh you, know, you can't win them all yeah. i thought uh what did the review say um they say yeah i love the vanilla or yeah i can tell it's taste the strawberries Let's see. I certainly couldn't taste. Mm-hmm. I can taste the strawberry. Taste a lot of oak in there. I think, it, mm. but I don't taste any vanilla. I didn't taste either the strawberry or the vanilla. Yeah. Just I just oak. taste like it's fruity a little bit, but it would taste more like a nectarine or a kumquat or something. It says this person says a uh, very complex beer, unique appearance, dark, uh, creamy, almost mud like aroma is funky as hell. Ripe fruits, grapes, plum. Mud-like. Flavors, uh, super sharp sourness to begin, re- uh, followed by fruit, red wine notes with a ripe plum aftertaste. Vanilla is very mild, is what this person says. Like, I don't taste any vanilla in there. No. Yeah, this person says the vanilla is so subtle on top of this. Really, really good. Funky almond, uh, or funky <laughs> vanilla and red fruits. Vanilla and almonds, nice barrel touch. I, I would agree that barrel, uh, I think is a decent touch, but just not, not really my style. I've been, uh, I'm having a tough time drinking sours recently. Like, um, I surely haven't been haven't been hit. I've been having a tough time drinking stouts too. I've just been uh, focusing on the crispy boys. Who are you? I know. Mm. <laughs> been all pilsners, all pilsners and lagers. Well, I uh, I told uh, we're having a couple people over tomorrow, and I told uh, Steve and I told Josh that we are going. we all the fridges are available. You just gonna make a run at them? Yeah, whatever they want to hit. Send some to go bags and yeah. start over. I'm, I'm, no. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, just keep, I'm gonna try this one, Charlie. Yeah, yeah. Just put it just in my lined up. Chris, Steve's got a ever. backpack. He just throws them up in the air and catches it. <laughs> be great. I'm gonna try this later. <laughs> yes, sir. But mm. uh, there should be some pretty good beers drank. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I mean, who knows? You know, it's. Uh, the one that uh, Josh was talking about when he was over here, and I'm like, well, you know, we can drink that, you know. And he goes, well, put it in the fridge. You know, we had it on the shelf in there, and I put it in the fridge when he talked about it. Now I called him the other day or texted him the other day, and I said, hey, uh, what's the name of that beer? <laughs> <laughs> and he told me, and so I found it, and I'm like, that's the first one we're popping when you get here. So we'll start with that. There you go. And it's, uh, it's the one with all the stuff from Portland. Or Northwest, actually. It's all the stuff from up there that they brewed and then brought down here. Oh, from modern times? Yeah. And so we'll drink that, and then we'll crack some some others, some decent beverage. Well, there you go. So, well, today, guys, we had uh, we had the two beers from Drecker, the two sour de jours, the, uh, the raspberry coconut crumble, followed by the, the, or excuse me, the triple berry pie, followed by the raspberry coconut crumble. We had the Odell's Freak. The uh, the creek with raspberries and cherries, 
We had, we had the glimmer void with uh, vanilla from uh, <laughs> allegedly. From <Legendary. laughs> yeah, the, the glimmer void without uh, vanilla. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which uh, what was your favorite, Charlie? I want to say the creek and the the second uh, Drecker. The uh, raspberry coconut. Yeah. Yeah. I think. yeah, raspberry coconut's my favorite. It's much I'm, I'm going the same way. Yeah. I thought that was great. You know, it was super. You know the. Uh, um, you know, after having the first Sorry, one, freak. First, first one was a little, little too uh, maybe pie like. I think the, the second one was that was a great beer. You had cinnamon in it. Yeah. I, I enjoyed that. You did. No, the that cinnamon was, was the best part. <laughs> there it is. The uh, hmm. what else? Uh, got this, anything else? This other one got this. The, the one we do, we all ended up liking, has sea salt in it too. That's so what it sea was. Salt. Yeah. Anything else? Vanilla beans. I got a bullet orange lab 233 if you want to crack that bad boy. Straighten us all out. I'll let you, I'll let you get after that one. Well, there it is. Another, uh, another show. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only, and compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.